What it do, Lions fans? Your boy, no Miss J, coming at y'all with another one, man. So, obviously, the Lions preseason is over with. The Lions will be starting the regular season next week. And they released their releases and waves and cuts and whatever so far. And a lot of names on that list is what I expected. But let's let's do a real quick overview of the preseason overall. First things first, uh, the preseason is exactly what I expected it to be. I wanted to see some competitive game. I wanted to see a game where they struggle, which they did against Jacksonville. Then I wanted to see a game where they kind of go back and forth to the very end and then we kind of took that game you know we saw a little bit of everything we should have wanted to see we wanted to see the Lions look really good in one of the games that was against the Giants you wanted to see the Lions have some controversy which was you know and I say controversy I mean they go against a team that kind of competed hard against us you know Jacksonville brung it so and they look like they're going to be really good you know, basically, if I had to do a way too early judgment right now, you know, until the season starts, just really like they're going to be that deal. They is coming off a playoff win year and a divisional title year win. A lot of people take that away from them, but uh, I won't. But at the end of the day, they look really good. And then you had a game where you faced some young, athletic quarterbacks, you know, that can run and move. That was a game I was hoping we had because last year, y'all remember the Lions got tore up by some running quarterbacks, and they kind of sort of did in this game, but, you know, it's it's kind of hard to stop those guys when they get the block and then they get the ability to run off. You know, um, when our young boy Martinez was pressured too heavily, at times he was able to get away, but at times he struggled to find somebody open. You know, at times when the blocks were there and he had to run for it, he made plays with his legs. So that just tells you right there what it's like to have to do with their quarterback. So, and yes, he got waved as well today. So, um, yeah, definitely he got waved. So, uh, you know, a couple names. I can't remember every name. I know Christian Covington. I know, um, obviously, you know, Jermaine Fetty. had uh, one of those other linemen. I can't think of his name. Uh, they got some weird names out there. I know my guy, uh, Dylan Drummond, also got uh, waved as well. And Chase Lucas. That really hurt my heart, uh, honestly, when, they, when that, that release happened. But we kept Steve, Stephen Gilmore. Thought that was interesting. Uh, he did play really well, if y'all. You see the short that I put out yesterday. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yesterday for him. Uh, please check that short out about some of the big plays he made, some of his highlights. Uh, he played really well. Uh, looks like a, a skip off, a chip off the old block, as they say, right? Uh, but yeah, that's what I know. It's not the cuts. Like I said I'm not gonna go over every name. It's been pretty much out there. But those are some of the names that that were notable to me. Um, obviously. When you look at, again, like I said, the preseason, you got a little bit of everything you wanted. That you want to see the Lions evaluate talent for their depth chart, not starters. Just for the depth chart. You know, guys who either go, they go push to the practice squad or guys that either go have on special team roles. You know what I'm saying? And just in case somebody get hurt, you can rely on one of those guys to step in. That's what the Lions be looking for. They know who their starters were. They just need to know who the guys they can trust that were really fight full position and were really going to put it on the line or an experienced player or a young rookie. And we had a lot of rookies, man. Antoine Green with the catches two in the games. Man, oh, my God. Antoine Green. I know it was a preseason game and it's a lower-ranking level team he was going against. But, man, if he can really get himself going and he can stay on his development, him, Dylan Drummond, even Coda, th- those guys can be good one day. I can see a lot of potential with those young men, man. And I- I'm glad you got a veteran quarterback today was able to work with them a guy like you know teddy bridgewater which is why i love that signing so much because he just helps the situation so much you know overall uh get provides you a good depth quarterback if golf get hurt uh he provides you understanding how to command an offense you know what i'm saying he's better and won't take him too long to grasp the offense so it'll still take him long but it won't take him too long you know to get what we need out of him so that was always like i said a good sign in there but anyway um yeah, man, just, you know, next week, like I said, is the big game. You know, we start off Thursday night football. I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? We got the big game coming in. I, I'm still taking the Lions to destroy the Chiefs. Yes, I said the word destroy. Uh, I will be doing my preview video sometime this week. We'll be doing our show eventually on Wednesday starting next week. So be tuned to that for the SP. We'll be only doing one short uh, show from here on out. Um, yeah. I expect us to have a real physical game against the Chiefs, but I expect us to us settle, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? I do think we have enough to beat the Chiefs. 
you know, Dan Campbell let to keep his starters out for a reason. Uh, do everything he can to keep most of his guys healthy. Uh, fortunately, y'all know we ain't going to add J-Mo to start the year. Uh, Amin Ra, Aiden Hutchinson, those guys should be healthy enough to start. Uh, I think they're getting enough rest, so <laughs> obviously we should have those guys there. You know, you know worst going to worst, you still got James Houston. Hopefully, you probably still got the record brothers. I don't know if it's a trade coming or some kind of big cut happening and some big add-on going to happen off the waiver wire. There was some players released. Uh, the Lions can still go out there. You know, there's a lot of talk about Mike Evans. There's a lot of talk about this. There's a lot of talk about that. Uh, still got people talking about Jonathan Taylor scenario. You know, who knows what can end up happening. But only thing I can do is focus on where the team at, where the roster is right now and moving forward and what we're going to be doing game one. You know what I'm saying? We got what we wanted this offseason. We want to see a young team put in some development, put in some work, come out and compete. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they gave us, and that's what we got to work with right now. And we're going to take this thing into the offseason. We know we got our troops for the most part. We're going to take this thing into next weekend, man, and try to punch it in for a first dub of the year. And, you know, Dan Campbell stress about, you know, if they can really get this win next week, how it can help them out so much because you basically you work Thursday, so you won't play until the following Sunday, which is the home opener against Seattle. So you get to come home all 10 days. So that, that, that like, it's imperative that we get that win because – you want to start off on a good track. You want to see where your team is at. You want the week one magic to kind of kick in with the big teams and the big name teams and us to come get our momentum and start feeling confident early. You don't want to start off one six again like you did last year. So this is a good opportunity for the Lions definitely to come in, man, and make some noise this year. So, you know, I'm still sticking around my 10, 11 win, you know, standard level right now to further notice. You know what I'm saying? The worst, I think, is 9 and 8. But, yeah, man, the Lions got a chance to make some noise in the North this year. Uh, I think golf is going to do a good job. I expect the defense overall to be better, and I still expect the O-line to be top tier. I know Frank right now is going to fight through the toe injury. Uh, obviously, they can't no longer work on to get prepared even more than it already is. So, tough man. Uh, <laughs> tough, tough man there. So, with that being said, man, it's your boy, Norman's J, man. Y'all, make sure y'all just follow this channel, man. Subscribe to the channel, man, if you can. Uh, really helps us out, man. Drop a like as well. Share with all your friends and family. Again, we got a show coming out next week, Wednesday. Shout out to all the fellas, man, that was on the show with me tonight. Um, obviously, I came in late, but shout out to everybody, man. It's your boy, Norman's J. Make sure you uh, watch my last piece of content. Like I said, go watch the shorts. All the shorts that I made, the highlights, I got more of those coming soon. Uh, if y'all want to see them, man, just go watch those things, man. Share them with your peoples, man. And support your boy and your group, man. D3 on 3SB. It's Nomas J. Signing out.